Question seven. Looking back at the prelim, what do you feel you've learned in progression from it to the full product? When looking back at the prelim, it's clear to identify over the past months the development and standard of our product increase. Although the time frame of working was longer for the final, it was good to do a prelim in order to compare and contrast ways we approached shot the two different products. With a little knowledge at the beginning and a lot of knowledge nearer the end, we could identify our new strengths. Filming in general with a bigger time frame helped identify the difference between using a tripod to make it more steady and between doing a handheld shot which was more wobbly. In terms of mise en scene, lighting and the props used were very focused towards the genre. However, in the prelim task there were no props at all and lighting did not match between different locations. Facial expressions, gestures and body language were also better within the final. In terms of cinematography, the prelim only showed a basic understanding of our knowledge towards angles, shots and lighting. Following the horror genre, we took this into account and dimly lit the area we were shooting for the final piece. Additional shots such as the panning shot, a point of view shot and an extreme close-up were used. In terms of sound, we added non-digetic sound for sounds such as the screaming girl when we used a sound bridge and the lullaby we created ourselves. Lastly, in terms of editing in the prelim, we used straight cuts. However, the final product being a montage, the continuity and fluency of the product were done differently to create a different effect so the fade and dissolved used blended it better.